Hey, this is Fred from The Fly Project, and today I am going to briefly talk about four of my top flies for wintertime fishing on the Missouri River and just about anywhere else I'm fishing in trout country during the cold part of the season. My number one streamer for the last several years has been this fly that we call the Bam Bam. And this thing just flat out produces fish day after day. It's got a great little profile looks just like a little minnow it's got a little barring so it uh, it kind of matches up with sculpins or little uh, juvenile trout par and it's in an olive and tan color with a little bit of red and it also features a copper bead up on top there and for some reason this combination has just been super productive for us i never spend a day swinging flies or casting uh, even with a single hand rod and retrieving uh, without this fly in the mix. If I want something with just a little more flash and a little more movement, I'm going to roll with this fly here, which we call the Flaraboo. And this one is tied with a little bit of Crelex, but it's essentially got a marabou tail and a marabou wing, little underwing of red Crelex and overwing with the uh, copper. And then one unique feature of this fly is that on the tail, when it's tied, the thread is actually extended and then the, uh, the Crelex gets a wrap around the tail. And what that does is that cocks it a little bit of an angle. And when this thing is swimming, it basically forces it to have a little bit of a keeling effect and it causes the fly to wobble and roll almost like a, uh, a little plug or, or a poly would do. So it really seems to, especially when the water's moving um, relatively slow and you're swinging this thing or retrieving it slowly, that little bit of wobble and movement really seems to be a fantastic fish trigger. And then the dark color is always good in the wintertime when we're lower light. And then that copper and red seems to just finish off the picture. So if I'm not throwing those flies and I'm gonna be nymphing off a shelf or in one of the, the buckets that are super productive on the Missouri, I'm going to deploy most likely this little fly here we call the Skirp. And this one was designed a few years ago by uh, several Fly Project fellows. Um, features the uh, rainbow dubbing on the body, an orange bead, and the orange bead is, is kind of a fixture for many of our scud and sow bug patterns. And then this one also has a little hen hackle, and then it's finished off with a little bead on the front, which is uh, just a little root beer color. And the complete package of this fly just, again, does something. It's a little bit different than many of the other ones out there. Um, that soft tackle just gives it a little more life and movement when it's moving through slower runs in the wintertime. And it has become, if I'm fishing a nymph, I'm probably going to have this one as one of my two nymphs. And then one of my other standbys, we have midges that hatch on the Missouri all year round. And then in the, uh, the spring and the fall, we also have betas. And this little guy is essentially a zebra midge, but we, uh, we roll a um, tuft of CDC through the body when we tie the midge, and then we trim it off for the tail, and we fold it back and leave a little tuft on the head there. So this um, simulates the movement. It has a little bit of potential gill um, action. Um, it just seems to really add a little bit of uh, spark and life to the good old zebra midge. Um, the zebra midge is always a standby, but this is, uh, this is really in our fly box, and my fly box kind of replaced it as my go-to version. So four great flies. These are all available at flyproject.us. If you have any questions about them or want to know about many of the other flies that we have, give us a shout, leave us a message in the comments. Tight lines. <laughs>